Hey kindergarten, today we are going to be using patterns to develop fluency in subtraction. So we're going to start down here at question one. So the first one says four minus zero equals blank. So if I have four red counters, one, two, three, four, and I don't take any away, how many red counters am I left with? So I still have my original four. So four minus zero equals four. Okay, so today we're just gonna be concentrating on the red counters. So what I'm gonna do to represent the subtraction is flip each of these counters. So moving down, four minus one. So if I flip this end counter, how many red counters am I left with? If you said three, you're right. Four minus one equals three. If I move across to here, you can see it says four minus two. So all I'm gonna do is just flip one more red counter. So how many reds am I left with now? So as you can see, now I'm left with two. So four minus two equals two. Finally, down here we have four minus three. So I had my original four, but now I'm just gonna flip one more counter. So how many red counters am I left with now? If you said one, you're right. Four minus three equals one. So as you can see with our pattern, we are counting down because we had four minus zero was four, four minus one was three, four minus two was two, and four minus three is one. We count down four, three, two, one. Okay, nice job. Turn in the page. Okay, over here we have some butterflies. So I started off with three butterflies and I'm taking away one of them. And you see the cross is through it. I'm gonna make it a little bit more clear. Three minus one equals, how many do I have left? All right, we've got two left. So three minus one is two. The next set of butterflies, we have now an X through two of them. We had three to start off with. Taking away two, maybe they flew away. And we are left with one. The final one. We started with three, but now we have an X through all three of them. So I'm starting with three. I'm taking away three. How many do we have left? Well, for this one, all three of them flew away. So we have zero. So as we can see from the pattern here, the more butterflies that we take away, the less that we have left. So as this counts up, the answer counts down. Okay, nice job. Number three. So here we have the I don't even know what that is, some kind of insect. We have one. We're just going to keep this one here for this land. So it stays, so we're not taking anything away. One minus zero equals 
Well, we've still got it. So we still have one. Now down here, we have one. This time we're gonna take him away. Flies away. One minus one equals, how many do we have left? You said zero, you're right. One minus one equals zero. Okay, turn in the page. All right, so up here with our flowers. So we had two to start with, but then we're taking both of them away. So two minus two equals zero. We got none left. Moving down, this time we're just gonna take one of them away. So we had two, we subtracted one, and how many do we have left? As you can see, we have one left. So two minus one equals one. And then over here, we're gonna keep both of the flowers. So we're not gonna take any away. And we can see that we have two minus zero. We still have our two left. So two minus zero equals two. Okay, moving down to number five. So what we have to do here is find out what the pattern is and then complete the equation. So for the first one, it says, it already tells us that 10 minus six equals four. So we know that already. It's asking us to find out what 10 minus four is. Now, if 10 minus 6 equals 4, that means that 10 minus 4 must equal 6. If we do another example, say I'm going to use this. Uh, yeah, okay. So here, if I have 10 minus three, this equals seven. So what do you think 10 minus seven will equal? So if 10 minus three equals seven, that means that 10 minus seven must equal three. Okay, moving across. This one, it already tells us that five minus one equals four. And we're asked to find what goes in here. So five minus blank equals one. What do you think that one might be? So if you said four, then you're right. Five minus one equals four, then that must mean that five minus four equals one. And if we use this, we don't even have to work out each individual problem. We can just tell from the relationship between this equation and this equation that we come to the same answer. 5 minus 1 equals 4, so that means that 5 minus 4 must equal 1. Okay, kindergarten, great job today, and I will see you next time.